Are you interested in binge watching a Chinese drama? If yes, then you should definitely watch our picks for the top 10 best Chinese dramas you must watch in 2023. <laughs> Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 10 is my journey to you. This story is about a defiant and distant prince named Gong Ziyu, who comes into contact with an undercover spy named Yun Weishan. On the other hand, Weishan was sent to live with the wealthy and influential Gong family, where she had high aspirations of regaining her independence. But in the end, she was forced to choose between her freedom and the man she loved. Overall, my journey to you should be on your must-watch list if you're seeking an engaging historical drama with gorgeous cinematography and diverse characters. Coming in at number 9 is Till the End of the Moon. Till the end of the moon centers around Lai Susu, who is sent back in time to prevent the resurrection of Tan Tai Jin, the demon lord, and regain control of their world. Lai Susu transforms herself into Yi Xiu and marries Tai Tai Jin, who was a mortal at the time. However, as Su Su is attempting to kill Tai Tai Jin, she becomes a witness to his prior life and begins to develop love for him, which complicates her purpose. If you like to watch a thrilling love story, you must try this out. Coming in at number 8 is Destined. <laughs> this story is about a woman named Liu Yuru, whose goal is to break out from her dysfunctional family. However, her husband's hatred for her is evident after their marriage which forces her to decide her own fate. Yuru goes from being a fragile lady to becoming a self-reliant woman through the use of business enterprises and her inner power. This drama is a good watch for those who believe in women empowerment. Coming in at number 7 is The Longest Promise. This drama revolves around a royal prince named Shai Ying, who was exiled to the Ju Yi Mountain to practice cultivation after his mother was falsely accused of committing a crime for which she was not responsible. Because he concentrated only on cultivation while he was at this location, Shai Ying's martial arts made tremendous strides during this time. Zhu Yan, the princess of the Chei Yi tribe, later became one of his disciples after he accepted her as a student. Despite the fact that the two begin to develop feelings for one another, they choose not to discuss it due to the fact that they are in a master-disciple relationship. Coming in at number 6 is Warm on a Cold Night. <laughs> Warm on a Cold Night revolves around a woman named Su Ju Er, who is a police officer from the Fian Kingdom performing covert operations. During this procedure, she comes into contact with the cold and brusque prince of the Qi Kingdom, who possesses skills and reflexes similar to those of a wolf. During the course of their investigation into a murder case that affects both kingdoms, the two start developing feelings for one another. If you're trying to find a way to pass time on something that's not too difficult, but nonetheless of high quality, then Warm on a Cold Night is the one for you. Coming in at number 5 is Story of Cunning Palace. <laughs> This Chinese drama revolves around a disgraced queen named Jian Suining, who is reincarnated and given a second opportunity to make amends for her past sins. However, she made up her mind that this time she would not enter the palace. Despite this, she winds up becoming involved with the major antagonist of the story. This series is a great option for you if you enjoy reading works of fantasy, adventure, and romance. Coming in at number 4 is Back from Brink. Back from Brink is a story about Tian Yao, a dragon from long ago who was hurt deeply when the woman he loved deceived him. She had dissected him and stripped him of his dragon scales before putting them under seal in a number of different locations. After he was reincarnated, he immediately went out to find them and was surprised to run into Yan Hui along the way. Overall, Back from the Brink is one of the best Chinese dramas because it manages to integrate anger, mystery, and romance all into one neat little package. Coming in at number 3 is Demon Hunter's Romance. <laughs> this drama centers around Ban Xia, a young lady who lives in the city of Guangping, which is home to both humans and demons. She possesses the extraordinary ability to perceive shadows, but most people don't believe her and consider her to be insane. Eventually, she will cross paths with Suan Ye, a demon hunter, and the two of them will work together to solve mysteries and push the limits of their interaction with demons and humans. Coming in at number 2 is The Prisoner of Beauty.
This Chinese drama revolves around a clever girl named Chiao Man and a young master named Wei Xia who were brought together through a marital match. Their voyage is a whirlwind of laughter and tears, along with a growing affection for one another despite the numerous challenges they face and the grudges held by their ancestors. This drama is one that you should keep an eye out for if you're interested in a slow-burning romance that's coupled with political tension and home issues. In the top spot, coming in at number one is The Starry Love. This unique Chinese drama revolves around the Queen of Humanity who gave birth to identical twin girls named Sing Kui and Mie Tan. Older sister King Kui, who recently became engaged to the Heavenly Prince, is admired by the entire tribe for having a kind and loving heart. Meanwhile, her younger sister is hated by her own people for getting engaged to a prince of the demon race. But things take a dark turn when the two sisters end up marrying the wrong husbands, leading to the disturbance of the four peaceful realms. 